Hi, my name is Ken Rogers and I teach organ at Heston College. I'd like to take you on a tour of the Andover Pipe Organ, Opus 116, that was made for Heston Mennonite Church in connection with Heston College. The Andover Organ Company is located in Methuen, Massachusetts, and it was installed in November of 2007 and finished in January of 2008. Let's go ahead and go back and look inside. To begin with, we need to go up to the blower room and up to where the pipes are. Up here you see the blowers. A large blower is encased in this box, and then two large bellows with weights on top which help maintain constant air pressure to the organ. The air flows into the chamber where the pipes are located. In a pipe organ, what makes the sound or produces the sound are pipes. And as you can see, they're made from a variety of materials, from metal such as zinc and lead and even copper, such as the pipes in the facade, to wooden pipes. And the quality of the sound is determined partly by the kind of metal or wood used in the shape of the pipe. Every single pitch requires one pipe. When you have one pipe for each note on the keyboard, we call that a rank. In this case, in this organ, it's not a large instrument, it has about 17 ranks of pipes, which in terms of pipe organs is not that large. You can see here on the pipe rack that the pipes are laid out so that they're easy to access for tuning. And you also see there are some empty spots here where a, a trumpet can be added, which is not yet in this instrument. Organs are also divided up into different divisions. This area, for instance, is what we consider the grate, or the main part of the organ. We also have a pedal division, those that, pipes that are played by the feet. And in this organ, we also have a swell division. In the swell division, all the pipes are enclosed in a box with shades that can be opened or closed by a pedal that the organist controls. In this way, when the box is closed, the sounds are obviously muffled and soft, and when it opens, it creates a crescendo effect. When you're in the audience, this is the organ that you see. And here's what the organ sees when it's looking at you. Back here on the ground, let's look behind and see how the mechanics of opening the pipes works. Another aspect of the Andover 116 organ is the fact that it's a mechanical action or tracker instrument. That means that there are actual mechanical linkages from the keys to open the pipes themselves. The mechanical connection is made with long, thin, wooden slats called trackers. When opened, the tracker opens a pallet which allows air to get to the pipe and the pipe sounds. As you can see, the organ is a complex machine with thousands of different parts and mechanical linkages. In fact, before the Industrial Revolution, it was thought to be the most complex piece of engineering that existed. However, today we also add electronics, such as an electric blower for the wind, so it doesn't have to be pumped by hand. And in this particular organ, we also have electric stop action, meaning that we can control the pipes that are being accessed by means of an electric stop action. This is a three manual instrument with pedals. However, in reality, it's what we call a poor man's three manual. The top manual accesses the pipes that are in the swell. Remember the box with the pipes. The middle manual is where we access the grate or the pipes that are in the main exposed part of the case. The third manual is what we call a coupler manual. 
The only purpose it serves is to play whatever is on in the grate and the swell. And as I play it, you'll notice that the keys that are being played in the bottom manual also show as being played on the grate and swell. Of course, then the final division or part are the pedals, which don't have as many notes, but are important to the foundations of the organ. We also have what's called a cymbalstern on this instrument, or a series of small bells, which can add a nice effect for times like Christmas. Thank you for visiting the Andover Opus 116 today. We hope that you enjoyed it, and if you want to, please come and visit it in person.